This chapter looks at the ways in which air volume, temperature, and humidity affect your evaporator's efficiency. In order for the evaporator to work correctly, there must be a certain amount of air flowing over it, so the fan must be designed to deliver a specific volume of air. A typical forced air evaporator requires between 1000 and 2500 CFM per ton of air flow, although it varies according to the design of the evaporator. Another important factor is the temperature of air entering the evaporator compared to the saturation temperature of the refrigerant inside the evaporator. This is called the temperature difference of the evaporator, also known as the TD. The cooling capacity of an evaporator is based on a specific TD. A TD of 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit is typical for refrigeration evaporators, while the TD for air conditioning evaporators ranges from 25 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Reach-in evaporators have a TD of 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and walk-in evaporators have a TD of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Some low-velocity evaporators have a TD of 8 degrees or less. A second reason the TD matters is that it affects the relative humidity. The greater the TD, the lower the RH. A walk-in cooler with a TD of 10 degrees Fahrenheit typically maintains a relative humidity of 85% within the case. The high humidity is good for storing meat and produce, so it does not get dried out. A reach-in with a higher TD has a lower humidity of 65%. The relatively low humidity of a reach-in means that food dries out more quickly than in a walk-in and should not be used to store food for long periods.